Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. What is today? March 27th. Uh, slept good. Slept like six and a half hours. Six and a half hours is straight through. Appointment's not till uh, eight here in Elberfeld, but I'm feeling lucky. So I'm gonna um, start up the truck and uh, try to try to get in the gate. Let's see. See what he says. All right, early bird gets the worm here apparently, because um, it's only 6:40, and he's like, "Yeah, sure, just getting to door four. Uh, it's just right ahead of me." So that's pretty exciting. All the reviews are like people getting mad that it took so long, but I, every time I've been here, it's just fully dependent on what time you uh, check in, because this place fills up fast. This is the first time I've ever had them tell me I had an appointment for this place. It's almost always a uh, time from like eight till noon. So, early bird gets the worm, as long as, you know, unless I'm delivering the same day, then just wait till I check in. <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, and there, people were even complaining on there that this guy takes a long time to unload, which I, it's the same guy, he's got long hair, hard to forget. Um, and no, he does not take a long time. Right, as I say that, watch him take a long time. But I've never had him take a long time. So I'm gonna get in the door. And then uh, slide my tandems and get this broom out of the, out of the back. I, I left it out yesterday, but uh, yeah, well, at least this part of the load will be easy, hopefully. Unlike the uh, the loading process there. If you didn't see that video, check it out. Spent like 100 hours on site there in Pep Pepsi and in, uh, Indy. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, let me get those tandems. Truck's looking good. Nice and clean. Look, I think this guy here was in Indy yesterday. This guy who's rolling in right now. So, early bird gets a worm. Even though my appointment was for eight, I got here at 6.40 and then, you know, here I am. Yeah, it says on the side of the truck, isn't it? Indianapolis. <coughs> if you ever come to this place in Elberfeld, which they're on red now, go ahead and do what this guy's doing and back into one of these spots and then walk in to the east side of the docks, there's a door, and then talk to the guy on the forklift with the longer hair. He's the one who comes out, he'll check your seal, all that stuff. Sweet, just gave me my papers. Let's get warmed up, hit it out. After we get some air in here, of course. All right, so I'm pulling out here, that guy needs to get my dock. Here's a little uh, courtesy that could go a long way I have this big lot. I'm not just gonna stop right here, you know? I'm gonna get very, very out of his way before I stop, slide my tandems and shut my doors. Cause that's just how it should be, you know? That's how it should be. Anyway, anyway, rant over. Rant over. All right, see you in a second. All right, gloves on. Dang, yeah. Set the trailer brakes too. Ooh. <coughs> oh man, forgot my my broom. Usually, I throw this in the back, so I'll have to put it in there right now. If you have a hard time getting in these trailers with the doors open, try uh, shutting one first. 
using it to man. If I bring you a load, the wood is yours too. I'll just get it close to the door. I'm not gonna sweep it out everywhere. Not gonna sweep it out. That one's new. Battle scar. Man. Why not why? Why drag the pallet on my floor? Whatever. There we go. Thought that guy was gonna come up close and be like, hey, get out of my way. <laughs> Dude, if you can't get out of here with that much that much room, you should have your CDLs. Is Door shut, slide everything, head on out. Oh yeah, man, I just washed it. Now it's all dirty. Uh, that's all right. The point of washing it is to get all the salt off now that it's spring and probably won't get salted again for a snowstorm, which is kind of sad. We didn't really have any snowstorms. We had like one, but my truck was actually getting worked on when that happened. So the good rates come after a storm like that usually because uh people shut down and they don't want to drive which i wouldn't have driven during the snow but the rates right after are usually pretty good all right let's get a tandem slid get on home let's see if we'll book a different load today just had a broker send a laughing emoji when i quoted him 370 a mile going two stop two pickup one drop going to florida ocala florida 370 is what I quoted and he sent a laughing emoji. How professional. And why make it, you're just making it basically him versus me. And oh, you're crazy or this or that. Dude, I'm gonna have to dead head out. Not to mention this is gonna take up, like I'm gonna sit on three different docks for you. And then it's gonna take up so much time. I have to burn all the fuel and I'll have to dead head to a better area. It's not crazy. It, you should, if anything, just be sad that we couldn't work together. Like, if I was a broker, someone quoted me high, I don't know. I, I mean, I would hope I wouldn't just think they're being greedy. Like, that's not what it is. I've just got, I'm in a, a truck I paid $90,000 for the setup. Like, yeah, dude, I got to make money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you doing, sitting in your $60 office chair that's all wore out? Tiffany tapping in on your computer, making hundred dollars a day just trying to rake over uh carriers i don't know dude maybe i should just be a broker if you can't beat him join him right no i don't know that's what i say when i say uh there's easier ways to make money but what's the fun in that i'm specifically talking about brokers like yeah there's easier ways to make money but dude i would like i would hate myself if every day all I did was try to get a carrier to run a load and make as much money off them as possible. Basically take it straight out of his hands, out of his kids' mouths, out of his, you know, out of his wife's pocket. Like, I couldn't make my money that way. That's not, it's just, I mean, it's, it's ethical and all because that is how I get loads a lot, is through brokers. So it's fine, make your money, but like, it should be more of a finder's fee and not like splitting the profit. You know what I mean? They're, and I, I get it, a lot of brokers nowadays are still on raised within mar uh, margins and they're also just basically doing a finder's fee and anything they can keep their business open with because they're not doing well. I mean, to be honest, I'm doing pretty good. I don't want to jinx myself or make it sound like I'm being arrogant, but like, I'm doing pretty good. But, but that's because I have brokers that, you know, help me out and pay actually what what a lane is is worth and not just whatever like i haven't had anything in the last day or two i almost had something from my one guy like you saw in the last video i almost had a round trip but um yeah i don't know i don't know why i'm ranting see you at home here at the parking lot or where I park my truck 
Um, let's see. I don't think there's going to be anything different. So I'm just going to go home, get and get a shower. If anything, I'll look for a late pickup today, like a noon to uh, noon to something, noon to noon to four. Um, Evansville to anywhere. Yeah, they're not really coming up much on those Atlanta loads. They went up to 1250, um, which is 315 a mile. I don't know. I might call them and just this dart advantage one that's light. I'll just say, hey, I can do 16, but that's that's $350 more. So doubt they'll pay it. Anyway, I'm going to shower and uh, hang out with my wife and baby. And at some point today, I need to um, get size for my buddy's wedding. So that's what I'll be doing and maybe edit some videos we'll see i need to edit together the work days videos for the trailer if you see it's just looking good just kidding the inside's looking decent but um yeah i'm gonna go look at that real quick the load i have booked is going from henderson kentucky down to lawrenceburg um, tennessee and that one is like 200 some miles to 10 for $825. $825. So that one's uh, pretty decent. It's picking up in Pratt paper. Um, it's going to be the finished product of the paper stuff. You know how I bring in uh, recycled pro uh, paper all the time there? <clears throat> it's the actual finished product paper stock. All right, just got done filling in some holes and cracks with this wood filler from Gorilla. If you can't tell, I'm a big Gorilla fan. So all I did was lay it down, smooth it out. You know, this was, uh, where was the big one? This one right here. This was actually like a gash. And uh, you can kind of see it's still, it's still kind of depressed a little. Um, Cause after it kind of dries, I went and kind of rubbed my foot over it just to make it not so obvious and just to smooth it out some. Um, stuff like this just kind of makes me mad. Like just pick up your gosh dang forklift forks. Um, but yeah, I think this will turn out good. I can't give you the full review yet cause whatever, but yeah, this stuff's kind of weird. It's like, as soon as you can, as soon as you put it down, like watch this. If that was to be a hole, I just can come up and kind of smooth it off with my foot. Um, yeah, the point of doing this is like for this case, you know, that was a big gash. If uh, someone was being lazy and they drug out a, a, um, a pallet and it catches on that, it digs it in even further. So these, you know, they won't get caught. That was kind of the point of all that. So yeah, I'm gonna go do it on the project trailer now. All right, let's get this thing warmed back up. I'm gonna go blow out the trailer. Make sure if you're gonna blow out, pick up your junk. Don't just leave it down there, okay? All right, let's get headed to Henderson. Straps, need two of them. Got my straps. And uh, he said he'll call me with the dock door. That's fine by me. Do whatever, brother man. Do whatever. I'm gonna get everything opened up though. Get it ready for you. It's these cool big uh, paper rolls. The place was stacked high with them. I've never hauled for here, but I have delivered over there at the at the um, fiber side. So, yeah. All right. Let's get these rolled back up and tucked in there. All right. Two hours and 45 minutes later. 
loaded up. And I wish they'd stop taking so dang long all the time with everything. Gosh, dude, trucking is just going downhill. Everywhere you go. Just about everywhere you go. Anyway, let's uh, take a peek in there, get our tandem slid, all that fun business. Uh, once again, I'm gonna pull way off so that I'm not in the way of other people. Common courtesy, whoa. Need a sec. Uh, let's get the door shut. Seal put on. This is one of those heavy duty seals. High value. High value. Kind of a beautiful day. I've just freaking burnt out from sitting in a truck. And I have not made that much money this week. You know, I'm at like, if I were to deliver this load, I'll be at like $2,300, $2, yeah, $2,300 this week, and uh, $2,300, how many miles, um, maybe like 800 so, no, that's too high. Or two low miles. I think it'll be more than that. Okay. Are they nice and keep them off my walls? I think so. That's not. No, this one's kind of loose. Anyway, probably good enough. Oh. Be careful when you're getting out of semi-trailers. What is all that? Looks like I got a nail in there. And another something in there. I don't hear any leaks. Therefore, I pretend I don't see it. If it starts leaking, then I'll worry about it. These are like the seals they give you at a stack of milling. Come on, get in there. Which way is it supposed to go? It's supposed to go this way? Yep, okay. They even put enter on here. And then if I ever have the chance or the choice, I put these on pretty minimally so that there's less of a chance of it coming off of non-natural causes. Dude, these are high tech. Look on here. You can see what numbers are on here. Hold on, where's it at? You see in there it says 10 and 11 and nine, all that stuff. That's crazy. There's a seal number, all that. Got a baler's coming. Let's get out of his way. What are we at? What are we at? 20, all right, so we need some more weight on this side. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. At least the truck's clean on a beautiful day like this. Could be cleaner if I didn't have to drive through all that rain, but it is what it is. I'll probably be sitting here jockeying back and forth for a bit, trying to get the, the weights right call that something slide it yep now we wait let's check what it says up here 61 cfc's too much It is a nice day. All right, looks like need some more weight on there. Yeah, all right. I'm not gonna make you watch all this. And I'd call that 
spot on. Oh, never mind. Where are we at? Yeah, perfecto-ish. That's right where I want it though. So let's get out of here, get on home. If you're interested to where, where are those at? Kind of near the front. Let's get on back down to home. All right, how are we doing? It's currently 10, 9.50. 9.50. I'm gonna head out to uh, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Let's get it rolling. Nice. All right, we're here. I'm tired. That's gonna do it for this one. Man. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, tomorrow's. I guess don't not stay tuned, but come check out tomorrow's video when it comes out. See if I end up getting a reload because as of right now, I've got nothing and uh, I'm in the middle of Tennessee. So thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.